Hi, it's Simon Sutton George from Tenerife Property Group, and I don't know how this is going to uh, work out. I'm hoping it's going to work out all right. I'm going live on Facebook. Um, and I've just come to the Formula One track. Now, once again, it's really, really windy outside, and in fact, I don't know if you can see it. Possibly, I don't know if you can see it there. But anyway, we'll, I'll show you in a sec. Um, there's a, um, a gate there now, so I'm going to walk around the side of it. It's not a big deal, I don't think and uh, we'll just see what there is up there. But as I say, it is windy, so I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to hear everything that I'm saying, and uh, maybe you'll be as surprised as I am when we find out what's actually gone on. So let's turn you around. Oh, hang on a sec, turn you around. There you go. Right, so. Oh, it's died down a bit, the wind, but I'm sure it's still a bit windy. There's the gate I was just saying there. So hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. I don't know what we're going to see up here. I see to the left, just over there, plenty of diggers. Now there's more diggers there than I've seen before when I've been up, so it'll be quite interesting to see what we see. And I haven't brought my glasses with me, so if anyone's actually watching this live, I can't do anything like show you anything in particular because I can't read a thing without my glasses on. Sorry. There's the diggers over there. I've got to walk all up here. Go and see what if where that blue sign is. I think we've worked out pretty much that's the start finish line. The old wind's picked up a bit now, but a fantastic day up here, um, despite the wind, it's still about 30 degrees centigrade. Nice countryside. So just to let you know, while we're walking up, on the left hand side over there, you've got Valle San Lorenzo, going up into the mountains over there, I can't think what that'll be off the top of my head. Someone's going to tell me, I'm sure. And then over to the right up there, you'll have like Granadilla, places like that. So, and then down there, you can see the red mountain, Montaña Roca. So that's the mountain, if you come to Tenerife, that's the mountain you see when you land. If you land in the normal way, you'll be uh, seeing that on your right hand side, the normal way being the way they generally generally land and take off. There's some old water galleries here, I don't know if anyone's actually interested. That's how they used to run the water down for the banana plantations which are long gone now. A big water tank on the right hand side here as well. I'm not showing this before because I've managed to drive up here but it's absolutely uh, if anyone's living in there there's absolutely no way I can drive up here now so I'll have to walk up and it'd be interesting if we're allowed to carry on walking up over the time that it gets constructed it'll be um, probably more and more private as time goes on oh, well, there's an old water tank if anyone's interested there so that's where the reservoir for the for the water and then it would have been run down, as I say, down these galleys here, which are made out of all this old volcanic rock here. And then obviously as they got, as time went on and they've got more materials and things, they've done the metal pipes there to do the same. So we're on the way, get into the blue sign, which tells us if you've not seen this video before, but tells us how much was uh, set aside for a budget. You can see it there, 23,847,699 euros and 93 cents. And I know you're thinking, where does that 93 cents come from? Right, well, they have done a bit. Well, they've done quite a bit since we've been here last. They've flattened all of this out. This, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, all here was really quite uh, quite rocky 
and uh, had lots and lots of little trees and things like this but I'm speaking up I hope I'm not too quiet but the wind has really picked up up here but as I say supposedly this is going to be the home straight so it's looking good they've done quite a bit I'm quite impressed so you can see there and then across down there more track down here I don't know if anyone's watching this, probably probably no one's latched on to the fact that I'm actually on camera, but anyway, if you are there and you're interested in the Formula 1 track, I do uh, try and come every sort of three, four months just to see if there's any sort of progress and then we can report on it because it would be really interesting when they get this track going to see the sort of racing they have here. It's supposed to be fit for Formula 1, and uh, but they're going to have other things, motocross, motorbike, so... Um, probably you know road bike racing and things like that as well as um uh what else we have motocross so that's the cars on the dirt and the track and um, uh motorbike cross i can't remember any i'm sure you're all laughing your heads off now because i've got a clue what i'm talking about but anyway this is going to be for motorbikes <laughs> and cars anyway so uh, yeah it should be a good thing when it's done i'm just going to walk to the top of this hill here i can't imagine I can't imagine it going to have a drop like this. Maybe it will, but that's going to be a... Perhaps they'll fill it in. What do I know? But, I mean, that would be a heck of a heck of a thing if the Formula One cars come here, going up this hill, I should think. But anyway, I know they're not all flat, but it just seems quite a steep hill, but for a Formula One car, it's probably ground out when it gets to the top. So, here we are. Maybe rounding the first bend, who knows? This might be the first bend see it coming around here so I'll have a look down here going off down oh I thought it was going to turn left but it goes down a bit and then goes down around that way I'm not going to go any further we'll walk back bad enough as it is now so we'll look back down that way where we came from so you might recognise roughly if you come here or not. You might recognise the sort of area that we are. There's no one actually living that close to it, so it shouldn't really annoy anyone noise-wise and things like that, but it should be a great attraction when it's done. So my plan is to come out again, maybe uh, come in again, uh, where are we now, March, so April, May time, perhaps, something like that, and just see, uh, see what the situation is there as well hopefully they've got on a bit more i'm sure there won't be any tarmac but nevertheless it'd be interesting to see how that goes so bear with me a sec i'm simon sutton george from tenerife property group thanks very much for watching bye for now